I have a secret. Do you think you can guess what it is? I've got a secret, starring Gary Moore. Thank you very much, and welcome, my friends, to another session of I've Got a Secret. I've Got a Secret, a Snoopy sort of a game in which we reveal the awful truth about some very nice people just for fun. Tonight, we have information about the private lives of some interesting folk, but before we meet the people themselves, I would like you to meet our panel. To begin with, there's Bill Cullen, and of course, Jane Meadows, and ever-loving Henry Morgan, and last but not least, a very lovely young lady who is making her first appearance on our show tonight, Miss Dorothy Hart. That is our panel. And before we do the show tonight, there is one piece of business that I just must take care of. It has to do with a rather exciting occurrence on the show last week. If you remember our program of last week, we had a fairly spectacular guest on the show who almost wrecked the joint. We thought that he was going to be spectacular, and indeed he was. However, his thunder was stolen, apparently, by something that none of us realized until we had gotten off the air. So that I can explain to you precisely what happened, I'm going to have to run a little short piece of film from last week's show. And this whole thing started when I stood up, as I usually do, and I said, may we welcome our next guest, please? And this... Can we welcome our next guest, please? Will you come out? <laughs> that was our little chimpanzee friend, Zippy. And Zippy was quite spectacular. He led me a merry chase, but finally we got around to playing his secret. His secret was, I am going to shine Henry Morgan's shoes. All right, so he did. We finally caught him. He got down with Henry's shoes. And this spectacular occurrence happened when the chimpanzee held up to the camera one of Mr. Morgan's shoes, and this is what we saw. Very good. Yes, yes. Now, Henry, I don't know whether you can see from there, but on the sole of your right shoe was a hole about the size of a quarter. <laughs> I want you to know you have many, many friends in our, in our listening audience. All of this mail, well over 300 letters, drew to our attention the fact that Mr. Morgan had a hole in the sole of his <laughs> We got one letter, a complete letter, written to us on an inner sole. <laughs> which you are invited to wear. We got 26 offers from shoe repairmen offering to repair your shoes if you're willing to go to such places as Elephant's Breath, Montana and wherever these repair shops are. We got six offers from kind people offering to buy you a brand new pair of shoes, Henry. I got here a $1 bill in cash that a lady sent in. We got here a check for $2 and a half set in as a contribution, and we received change in the amount of $2.26 toward a collection for a new pair of shoes for you. And finally, we got a gift certificate from a Mr. Robert A. Siegel of Patchogue, New York, a gift certificate for a brand new pair of shoes. <laughs> but Henry, the management wanted to do their part, so we have gone to great expense to get a special gift for you. Can you come over here, please? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is a dirty trick, isn't it? <laughs> Henry, we kind of felt sorry for you, and we didn't want you to be different than the other members of the panel. So we went out at a great expense. We bought three pairs of shoes with holes in the bottom for <laughs> other members of the panel. <laughs> All right, now, panel, how about it? You're all set to play I've Got a Secret? All right. Here you go. If the shoe fits, put it on. Here comes our first contestant. Do come in, sir, please. <laughs> now, sir, will you tell the panel, please, what your name is and where you're from? I'm Leonard Payne from Green Village, New Jersey. Leonard Payne from Green Village, New Jersey. All right, now, Mr. Payne, here's how we play the game. Each panelist will get two questioning periods of 15 seconds each, but the clock will only time the actual questions. That is to say, we take time out for audience reaction and discussion, if necessary. Now, when a panelist's time is up, you will hear this sound. I will pay our guest $10 and turn the game over to the next questioner. Twice around the panel for a total loss of $80, and the game is over. Now then, Mr. Payne, if you whisper your secret to me, several folk are waiting to find out what it is.
boy might not make it through the show. <laughs> All right, panel, to help classify this secret, I will tell you it concerns something that happened to him. And Bill Cullen, we'll start with the top of the batting order tonight. Uh, when this happened, Mr. Payne, did it make the papers? No. No. Did it happen only once? It happened to you only once, didn't it, Mr. Payne? Yes. Are you glad it only happened once? Yes. <laughs> Might I be interested in when this happened, Mr. Payne? Mm. Uh, no. Might I be interested in where it happened? Yes. Might, uh, might I go to a place like this was where it happened to you? <laughs> where it was. Oh, yes. 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 Is this a public place? Yes. Public? Would I be unhappy if a thing like happened to you were to happen to me, the same thing? I think you'd be heartbroken. Heartbroken. <laughs> Ten dollars down and seventy dollars to go, Miss Jane Meadows, please. I'm happy, and this is a public place. Would this, by any chance, Mr. Payne, be a place where you might find doctors? <laughs> doctors? Yes, yeah, you might find doctors there. Yes. You might. Would you also possibly find nervous husbands in this place? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you can find nervous husbands there. <laughs> Not as nervous as they might be later, but you might. You might find them. Chance where we were all born? No. no. Oh, then this isn't a regular hospital. Are there many institutions of this kind in the country? Yes, there are many yes. institutions yes. of this kind. There are. Is this a place where a person might be committed to a place like this by their relatives? <laughs> no. 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 There is twenty dollars down and sixty dollars to go. Henry Morgan. Uh, sir, then this place, uh, uh, this institution isn't a hospital. But, no. Uh, but it's open to the public, is it? Yes. The public can go yes. in. Um, are there, uh, like, uh, interesting things on display there? Yes. Could some of these things be very old? <laughs> Pardon? Uh, well, we have a disagreement. He says, no, he doesn't think so, and I've been in institutions like this, and things are pretty old. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say? Oh, okay. Uh, leave me the address, because you go to a different one than I've been to. <laughs> pretty old. Well, I mean, would they be as old as, uh, would they have, like, uh, prehistoric monsters there, or...? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not quite, no. The other way around. Well, could some of these things, um, be considered, like, a modern art? Modern art? Um, oh, I guess you could say... Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's modern, and some people would say it's art. I don't know if I like the spirit with which you gave me that answer. <laughs> well, uh, would rich men make collections of these things? No. no. <laughs> There's $30 down and $50 to go, Miss Dorothy Hart. Well, you say this is a, a public place of some sort. Uh, is this, uh, see, it's not a museum and it's uh, not a hospital. Might this be a place of, an, of entertainment where you find entertainment? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is this a theater? Yes. Is this a movie theater? No. no. Is it possible that, uh, that I might entertain at this sort of theater? <laughs> No, it is possible, but far, far from likely. Oh. <laughs> I would say it's... I see. Well, then, is this a particular kind of theater, a special kind, where you find mostly women entertaining? Yes. Is this a burlesque theater? Yes. Yes, Dorothy, you scored right off the bat. That's precisely it. Now you know where he was. Now you must find out what happened to him in the burlesque theater. Oh. <laughs> $40 down and $40 to go. Panel, each of you has one more chance. Bill Cullen, please. Uh, the thing that happened to you in the burlesque theater, Mr. Payne, was it unusual? I mean, doesn't it usually happen to everybody? It was unusual, yes. Uh, were you the only person involved in this? Yes. The uh, girl didn't fall off the runway into your lap, did she? No, she didn't. Huh? No. That's too bad. Well, uh, did, uh, was this thing that happened to you physical? Yes. I pass. <laughs> James just frightened.
frightened to death it's going to come to her next. <laughs> Thank <Buzz>. you. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this thing is beginning to get a little bit out of hand. <laughs> I say let's forfeit. Let's forfeit, we're going to give you $80, sir. A thing like this could go in almost any direction and it frightens me. <laughs> Will you tell the panel, please, what your secret is? I feel it's sleeping. Cavaliers, I do hope you enjoy them. Try to stay awake until you get home, will you? All right. <laughs> I mean, we have our next contestant, please. Would you come in, sir? Hello. <laughs> now then, panel, this gentleman's name we're not going to give you because if you knew his name, you would most certainly know what his secret is. Maybe we can call you Mr. Um, we'll pick a letter, Mr. R. Is that all right? All right, now, Mr. R, you know how it plays. Twice around the panel, and the game is over. Now, Mr. R, if you'll remind me of your secret, the folks at home will read it as you whisper. All right, panel, to help classify this, I will tell you that it concerns something that he was, and we will start the questioning with Henry Morgan this time, I think. Uh... Would I be interested in knowing, sir, how long ago you were this? A few years. A few years ago. Was it during the war? Uh, uh, Henry, he didn't say three. He said few. A few. A few years ago. Oh, yes, I thought And you I said, was it during the war? No. No. Before? Yes. Oh. Uh, was uh, anybody else ever this thing? Yes. Yes? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Um, when you were it... Did your name get into the papers? Yes. Uh, oh, yes, you said we'd know his name. Did, uh... Did, uh, ten dollars down and seventy dollars to go. Dorothy Hart, please. Well, I gather from the applause that this was a sort of honor that was bestowed upon you. Is that correct? I beg your pardon? Was this an honor that was bestowed upon you? Well, I think it was quite an honor, however, to be what he was. It was not exactly bestowed upon him. It's something that he earned for himself. Let's put it that way. Now, in order to earn this thing, did he belong to a group of people? Yes. Mm -hmm. You were a member of, of a group of people. Was this group perhaps a service organization of some sort? No, not a service organization. No. It wasn't. Was this group of, of people uh, primarily dedicated to entertaining people? Mm, no, I would say that was secondary, wouldn't you? I would say so. Yes. <laughs> Very definitely secondary. Twenty dollars down and sixty dollars to go. Bill Cullen, please. Uh, that brings me up to, you say secondary entertainment. Were you in the world of sports? Yes. Were you a, an outstanding sports figure? Well, I wouldn't like to say that. <laughs> well, you I were. certainly would. Were you a champion of some kind? Yes. Was it boxing? No. Baseball? No. Football? Yes. Uh, were you a champion player? Yes. Yes, in as much as there can be a champion player, I mean, uh... The name, you said Mr. R, that, uh, the, your name doesn't start with R, does yes, it? sir. Uh, uh, do you have a nickname that precedes your last name? No, sir. No nickname. Well, now, uh, then, that's good. All right, there's $30 down and $50 know. to go. Janie Meadows, see what you can do with this. Mr. R, would this be an Eastern team that you no. were with? It, would it be a college team yes. when you were, it would be? And it, would it be far west? No. It would be Middle Western. Yes. Would it be one of the famous colleges such as Notre Dame? Yes. You were a famous football player for Notre Dame? Yes. Oh, dear, I should know. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Can I pass to Henry? Yeah, this is like last week when Ann Rutherford got stuck with the baseball, the baseball question, and none of the girls knew baseball. I'm afraid we're, we are $40 down and $40 to go, and we'll pass over to Henry Morgan. Each of you has just one more opportunity. Well, this, I may make a real big fool of myself, but uh, there were the four horsemen of Notre Dame. That's... Uh, I know two with uh, Bill here. Uh, Stuldreher, Leiden, um... Oh, I'm dying. Crowley and Miller. Crowley and Miller. Oh, Crowley, Crowley and Miller, but you needn't be embarrassed because this is one of the ones that you knew. This is Harry Stuldreher. Oh, <laughs> One 
the famous four horsemen of Notre Dame in 1924 and the only one of the four horsemen to make the All-American team that you're the Walter Camp official All-American team. Mr. Stuhlbrand, it was a great honor to have you with us. I hope you'll take a carton of our Cavaliers along with you. Thank okay. you, sir, very much. Good night. <laughs> now then, let's welcome our special guest for tonight, a very well-known and very romantic gentleman from Hollywood, Mr. Cesar Romero. It goes some night. Now, a uh, panel, Mr. Romero, as you might have suspected, has a very sneaky sort of secret up his sleeve, and it's going to be necessary for you all to retire to a small, damp room off stage <laughs> while we tell the audience what his secret is. Will you hurry it along, please, because time is wasting away. Somebody holler to us when they're out of earshot, will you, because we don't want to give them a chance to hear this. While they're going out, Caesar... Where did you get all this? Kind What's people that? sent them to me. They hope I'll burn myself up, I guess. Caesar, by the way, you were just tremendous on the Martha Ray show the other night. Oh, just thank you great. very much. Wasn't he good? <laughs> huh? well, I tell you, it was a wonderful show, and it's always a great pleasure and a great honor to work with Martha, because I think she is really one of the greats in the show business of ours. She's got it. Well, now then, let's tell, our, let's tell our audience exactly what your secret is. I will tell you that it stemmed from a conversation that Caesar and I had a couple of days before the show started, when we were discussing the show. Will you tell them what you said? Well, uh, Gary, you know, I've seen this show many, many times, and, and I think it's one of the finest panel shows on the air today. But I maintain that the members of your panel are guilty of a very common fault. As a matter of fact, it's something that I'm guilty of a great deal. And that is that while they are fishing around and fumbling around for the proper words, they are constantly saying, uh, ah, uh, ooh, uh. Well, but I claim that they don't do that. I claim that our panel does it less than anybody. As a result, uh, we, we made a bet. Tell them about the bet. Well, uh, it's this, our secret yeah. is that every time the panel, during the questioning, every time they go, uh, ah, uh, uh, ooh, I will step down hard on your foot. Well, it's a kind of a brave wager, but I claim that I bet it won't happen more than a couple of times. Put, All right, it, let's put, let the, put it out here, will you? It's, it's down there. <laughs> All right, bring the panel back in. My brave, good, glib, sharp-tongued friends. <coughs> here they come, galump, galump, galump. Now then, panel, all I can tell you about Mr. Romero's secret is that it is something that he is doing, something that he's doing, and we'll start the questioning, I think, with, uh, I'm going to start with Henry Morgan. Uh, Mr. Romero, is this something that you're doing uh, at this moment? <laughs> yes. That's well, obviously something we can't... Are you do, you're not doing it to any... Um... <laughs> is it, well, you're, is it something you're doing with your feet? Yes. Yes. Are you <clears throat> kicking Gary or something like that? Or... <laughs> no, you're not kicking. Not kicking. Not of that nature. Are you doing it to anybody? Yes. Not to Gary? Yes. <laughs> Oh, you are? Well, are you, uh... <laughs> you, uh, rubbing? <clears throat> There's ten dollars down and seventy dollars to go, Miss Dorothy Hart, please. Mr. Romero, usually you play footsies with the member of the no opposite sex. <laughs> Uh, you're not doing that. <laughs> no, no, I... <laughs> that was, that's a, that's a, a statement. You're not doing that. All right, uh, you, uh... <laughs> All right. <laughs> something you're doing with your feet. That's right, yes. Would you consider this a feat? Would I consider it a feat? Yes. Well, it's not a great feat, but it's, it's with the not feet. A great feat. Is the size important? No. Not, not to him, it is. Twenty dollars down and sixty dollars to go, Mr. Bill Cullen, please. Uh, am I right, uh, Mr. Romero, in, in believing that the person you're doing this to is Gary? That is correct. There's no one else under there this week. Uh. No. No. You're not wearing a hole in your shoe, are you? Uh, <laughs> uh, is there another object besides... <laughs> is Gary sitting on your feet? No, no, he's not sitting on my feet. Uh, is there another object... <laughs> uh, <laughs> is 
there another object beside your feet and Gary and, and Gary involved? No. no. There is thirty dollars down and fifty dollars to go, Miss Jane Meadows. Please. Gary gets a pained expression every once in a while. Are you hurting him? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm enjoying every minute of it. <laughs> Couldn't we have gotten Mickey Rooney for this spot, fellas? <laughs> are you stepping on Gary's feet? Uh, yes. And are you doing it every time you get a certain answer? Yes. Is it a no? No. It's a yes? No. Why? But it's a particular kind of an answer. Yes. There's forty dollars down and forty dollars to go. Now we're coming along, panel. We have one more chance each, Henry Morgan. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, I, I was watching, and I can't understand why Gary's face doesn't change on the answers if the secret has something to do with when the answers come, and that's when you step on his feet. Because he can just sit... What did I say? Oh. <laughs> they, uh... Aren't you... Oh, now, I, I'm supposed to be good at this. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Uh, all right. <laughs> Will somebody guess? I'm dying over here. Well, no, it, then you're, uh, you're doing it not when, when, uh... Never mind. I forfeit. Take your money. <laughs> The secret is, I bet that we had the glibest panel in show business who never went, uh. And every time you characters went, uh, what did you do? I stepped hard on his head. Please do take the part in the Cavaliers and thanks oh, thank so much for being with us tonight. There'll be a few practice sessions tonight, friends. Well, we have time for just one more contestant. Will our next contestant come out on the stage, please? Oh. Zippy, now listen, you cannot be on the show tonight. You weren't supposed to be here, and you ruined the whole thing last week. You came up here, and you wouldn't do anything you were supposed to, and you stole all my money, and you messed up all my cards, so you just go on out, run off stage, you run off and stay off now, okay? Okay. No, sit. Go around this way. Sit. Go off. Sit. Go around this a Mark Goodson, Bill Cotton production. And Jane Meadows' gown is by Hannah Troy. time. It's been just great being with you tonight. And until next week at the same time, may we say goodbye for the whole panel. Be very kind to each other, will you? And wave zip. Bye out there. Bye. Bye. <laughs>